I know you filmed the movie in the Bloom family's Real House, so I was wondering if there's anything about your portrayal of Sam and Cam that you might not have been able to tap into had it not been for that shooting location. Well, for me, I felt pretty close to Sam by the time we got to the location. Um, I'd had a series of great meetings and phone calls in the lead up. Um, and um, she really was just so generous and accessible every, every um, step of the way. And um, the house was, yeah, definitely unusual. I've never had that experience before where you're, you're literally in their space. Um, but it, it, it is, it's just another one of those tools that helps you get closer. I felt like I knew everything. Um, I also was able to read her diaries, which she so generously shared. Um, but yeah, living in the house or, or playing in the house that they lived in um, gave us further um, information. I mean, you see that backdrop um, right there, what she had to look at every day, which was the beauty and reason for living kind of thing one day. And then the next day it became a punish, like the haunting aspect of all of the things that she could no longer enjoy. So yeah, getting grasping hold of that was useful information. I'm also still very blown away by the choice to shoot the film with real magpies. So is there anything that happened during the shoot that didn't go to plan and you had to adjust to what the birds were doing and maybe that adjustment was for the better? Yeah, they 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 never do what they're being asked to do, just to qualify. They, they are, I mean, look, we had a, an amazing bird trainer called Paul who was remarkable, but they are, you know, you have wiggly worms in order to encourage them and they have to be live worms in order to move them around into certain places, but once they're fed, like most actors, they don't want to work, you know. So, uh, so we would, uh, was it Jerry would go would leave, and then we would have Wendell, one take when uh, Wendell that she would come in, and then she would get fed, and so it was a sort of you sort of you 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 dealt with what you was in front of you, very much like the children that were there as well, who'd never been on a film set before. So it was quite a thrilling experience all around. They are all so good in the movie, birds and children included. Naomi, this feels like there's no simple and quick answer to this, but one of my favorite parts of the movie is that it manages to give you hope, but without ever sugarcoating or lessening the severity of Sam's experience. So what did you talk through with Glendon or maybe even Sam herself in order to find that right balance there? Yeah, I mean, I'm allergic to sentimentality. I, I, don't, I don't like it at all. Um, and I'm I have a radar. So it was, I was, I, but there's a sweet spot, right? There's a, there's a little moment in there where you want to tell how, um, you know, moving the story is and how painful that was. And then, and then slip into the world of hope and recovery and restoring um, one's beliefs. And um, so, but it just, we were all really mindful of, of staying away from pressing buttons and manipulating audiences. Um, and that was important to Sam most of all. And, you know, um, it begins with her and she opened up her herself in ways that, um, we were able to access all kinds of truths that hopefully are there on the screen. You feel it big time. I also really wanted to ask you about working with Emma Cooper on this, because I was wondering how your relationship and collaboration grew from Emma being a unit publicist on so many of your movies to you producing a full feature alongside her. Oh, that's such an interesting question. Yeah, Emma Cooper is an old, old friend of mine. Um, decades long and yes from working as um, a publicist but she also had a business prior to that that where she was organizing all kinds of events so you know she knows how to run a tight ship and produce anything um, she brought the book to me and um, through Bradley Trevor Grieve and um, we said right there after I read it that that first time leafing through the pages with my children and being completely swept up in this story, she said, do you see it as a film? Do you want, does it 
pull you into that world? And I said, absolutely. The magic of this bird has such great cinematic values. And um, this is a story of hope and resilience. And I see it as a film. Let's do it. Andrew, I got a two-parter for you right now, because I believe this is your first feature since even starting Walking Dead. So I was wondering, one, why choose to focus on Walking Dead and not load up your schedule with movies in between seasons? And also, after having had an experience focusing on that show for so long, even though the material here is completely different, is there anything about that experience that you find coming in handy in the project you take on now? Great questions. I mean, the first question is, uh, I, I have a young family and, uh, you know, the, the industry is littered with, you know, people that don't make it as a family. And, and, and I spent eight months away from them for a loss of their childhood. Uh, and I, it was becoming more unbearable. So I would, you know, so basically when I was home, uh, I was playing catch up as a parent, as a husband and as, and as a father. Uh, and also, you know, unfortunately, what, ha what you have to do is you have to change people's uh, perceptions of what you're able to do as an actor. And so a lot of the scripts I was receiving were great scripts, but they were action and they were horror. And um, and I just thought, you know what, I, I, I was waiting for the right story to chime. Uh, and then this one came along and I instantly loved it, knew I wanted to be a part of this beautiful story of you know, the Bloom family, and then when Naomi was involved and yada, yada, it just was a no-brainer. Uh, what I, I've i learned working in America, uh, I will, I, I think I improved as an actor working in America, working at the scale that our show was on and working with really, really fine uh, filmic actors in America. You know, it's great being trained in the UK, um, but there's something about working with really the best the, on screen that kind of ups your game and, and, and the alchemy of just sort of the endeavor of trying to get it better. There isn't a set way of doing it. Uh, and that was something that certainly working with this, there's never a set way of working with children and animals. Um, uh, and so, yeah, I think you learn as you go and you grow as hopefully as an actor, as you get more experience. So I was recently talking to Rachel House and one of the things that I was so struck by during that conversation was her emphasis on culture on sets. I suppose one of the um, main qualities, um, we have uh, something called manakitanga in our culture. Manakitanga is the practice and principles of uplifting um, and each other with respect and um, care and generosity. Given the fact that that's not something we see in Hollywood that often, is there anything about the culture on this set that really struck you that you wish you saw more out there? I think the tone was set by Sam and Cam and the need to honor their stories. And, um, and that just sort of trickled all the way down. We had beautiful families involved, um, the, the, the kids on screen and their families in the background were very much involved. My kids were there, Andrew's kids were there. Um, we had Jackie, we had Rachel, we had friends as producers, we had um, friends as actors. Um, it was it was just a warmth and there was a respect for the truth of honoring this story, this difficult story. Um, and Rachel, when she came in, she blew us all away with her energy and her, um, she was just a breath of fresh air because, you know, we, we've, we've been doing all these quite tricky scenes that were dealing with the grief of Sam's, um, you know, accident and, um, and then she's just like this beam of light. And I, I mean, one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie is with Rachel. Um, we improvise this moment in the sea where we just belting out radio head and um, we touch each other's faces. And it was just so like emblematic of how we were feeling about each other. And as you say, the culture of the film, it felt really um, a warm and safe place comes through big time. I am obsessed with your movie. Huge congratulations to both of you. It's exactly what I needed right now. Oh, good. Thank you.